Welcome to Alter. I'm your host, Nicole Moline. This podcast explores the practice of transformation, of growth, as a dance between hustle and flow, altering, changing, growing, becoming, and altering, offering, surrendering, opening to divine conspiracy. It's the dance of the leader, athlete, creator, entrepreneur, committed not just to optimal expression, but to exceptional being. So here are adventures in sweat and divine conspiracy. Awake to all the grit, dirt, and complexity of our world. Alert to the graces that come alongside the struggle, the hustle, encouragement, an infusion of courage for the moments you need it most. I'm your host, Nicole Moline. Welcome to Alter. Hi, friends. Deep breath into your miraculous lungs. Can you feel how deep they go? The edges of them, how they float within you? Weightless wings, unfailing engines of exchange. Ah, here we are. A question for you. Can you remember a moment of devotion? A moment you felt or offered devotion? What's the first memory that springs to mind, to heart? A moment of pledging yourself to awe, to a person, to a cause, to a creative calling. I think of a few moments kneeling in worship on a beach or a forest floor or a temple. I think of singing songs late on Thursday nights in my early 20s in a worship service called The Afterglow, a kind of kirtan before I knew what that was, singing love songs to God. One of the sweetest elements of these moments of devotion is a sense of being outside of time, utterly unaware of time. It could have been 9 p.m. or midnight. I had no idea, and I didn't care. It's being utterly absorbed in a conversation, in a person, or a creative project. What are you devoted to at this moment of your life? Let's notice how devotion re-energizes us. Full immersion unites our energy and focus to one focal point, pulls all of our scattered thoughts and anxieties into one focal point. It's like stepping into the ocean and being summoned to full presence by its cold, powerful force. That moment of diving into a wave, deciding to go deeper in, to be fully here the ocean of devotion. There's a line in Mary Oliver's beautiful little book of essays, Upstream, where her genius is at full play. Attention is the beginning of devotion. Attention is the beginning of devotion. If you don't quite know to what you're devoted at this moment, let's start with attention. I would say the practice of attention is devotion. The practice of attention is presence. Most of the most magical days of our lives are days in which we are fully present. We can lie to ourselves that such presence has to be earned, has to be a special occasion, a vacation, a holiday, or the early stage joy of falling in love. But right now, Pour the honey of your attention over this moment. 
What's the temperature of the air surrounding you? The way it feels in your nose, your throat, as you inhale it. The way your heart spreads as you inhale more and hold it. Slowly releasing and feeling your shoulders drop. What tense part of your body can you soften right now? What's the texture of the ground you're standing on? Maybe fuzzy socks or the floor on your bare feet. What's the texture of this moment? When we fully drop into now, presence often leads us to a state of gratitude. We spend so much of our time living either in the future or the past, hoping, future casting, dreaming, scheming, or remembering, regretting, maybe punishing ourselves, worrying. But right now, there's a good chance you're not hungry there's a very good chance you are well held by the ground, by some people in your life who love you and are rooting for you. And just look at all of the pleasures of this moment, all of the textures, feel them, take it in. In yoga, we talk about the drishti, which means the focus of our gaze, really the anchor of our gaze. Have you ever tried or maybe fallen out of tree pose? I call it dancing tree pose. Half the fun of it is falling out of it. Any pose that requires balance becomes infinitely easier, infinitely more possible once you set your drishti, preferably on something unmoving on something outside the window or hanging on a wall. When we anchor into full presence, we can do hard things. We can move through challenging postures that require us to rebalance and rebalance and rebalance. Sound anything like life these days? So this moment, the pleasure of full presence to all of its textures. The gratitude for all of its gifts. What a joy to pause with you and breathe our way into full presence today. Attention as the beginning of devotion. A few things for you. This month in the Altar Together membership, we're exploring the theme of presence through movement and meditation practices. If you want to fill your spiritual toolbox with strategies for presence so that you can bring this kind of rich attention and the pleasure of it, the gratitude of it, to as many moments as possible during the course of your day and your life, and so much more, I would love to invite you to join this beautiful community. It's my joy to host at nicolemaline.com slash altar. And there are a few spaces that have opened up for the Altar Journeys Montana Retreat I am hosting June 23rd through 27th, and the Mentorship Retreat I am offering right after June 27th through 30th on a magical farm just outside Bozeman, Montana. This retreat will be a full body and spirit reset. I can't even tell you how much I love this place where I've hosted three previous retreats. Imagine what it would feel like to be washed in awe. That's what we're going for. (laughs) Details on what that and everything else will look like. And registration is at nicolemaline.com slash alter journeys. This podcast episode is sponsored by one of my new superfood crushes, which is a drink called Magic Mind. It's an adaptogenic brain and memory booster with nootropics, which are molecules that enhance cognitive function. 
I've been in a particularly delicious creative flow the last month or so. And each afternoon when I feel like I want an energy spark, like some caffeine, I've been drinking a magic mine. It tastes mostly like naturally sweetened matcha and comes in these whimsically packaged little shot bottles. And then doing a 10 to 20 minute yoga nidra afterwards. And I feel completely refreshed and energized. Learn more at magicmind.com slash alter, which is also linked in the show notes to this podcast and enjoy 50% off your subscription order for the next 10 days with code alter 20, all caps. If this podcast inspires you, please share it, post it on social media and tag me at Nicole Moline on Instagram and at Nicole Joy Moline on Facebook or text it to a friend. And I would so appreciate if you'd give it a five-star rating and review on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. I read every one of those reviews. I'm so grateful for them. And it's a great way to share what really resonates with you and also what else you'd like to hear about. So my friends, big love and full presence as we alter together. 